You know, Adam Sandler never fulfilled his destiny, which as a child was to make an awesome threesome porno. And he never felt like he fulfilled it. So we need to get him back in action. The movie role, me and Grant were talking about it this morning as I was starving because I haven't eaten my oats yet. Um, the um, concept here is we were saying, what's up with these women going out with their daughters supposedly to be their wing women when they want to suck the potential daughter's boyfriend's dick. And then what? Their husband isn't supposed to notice that they're like trying to get in shape to appeal to younger men or something. So I thought that, you know, whole conversation, you know, we're always having disturbing conversations. So I thought I should turn it into a movie. So it's a movie where he has to get in shape over the course of like six months while his wife is also doing it. Obviously they do that. So then he's going to, you know, secretly, you know, be the guy who's going to show up when they go out to date whoever, all in shape. So then he, like, he's wearing a fat suit through the movie, in the movie's plot, like he's getting in shape and hiding it from his wife, you see. So then she can't cheat on him because then he's sexy. It's a great plot. It ends with porn, you know. I don't have to care to watch the porn, but everybody else gives a shit. Get sad, get the Sandler back in action, you know? Get his penis back in action. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, I don't know what else to say about the plot. Um, there's um, workout montages where it's goofy, you know, and he um, tries to use two heavier weights and gets yanked down and, like, does a flip, you know, on, like, a big squishy pad, and you remove that, like, you know, different stuff like that. Um... He gets, you know, involved in, like, a bodybuilder's club, and they're, like, his mascot, and they're there. I mean, he's their mascot, and he's, like, their towel boy, you know? He's their, their water boy. Yeah. Exactly. He's got all, like... similar roles, similar roles back in action he's used to with brain spaces so that that way he can <laughs> pretend like he knows what he's doing. Exactly. Adam Sandler semi-back in action because he never was in action. Yeah, so we simulate he's in action with all his best moments, and then... We force his penis to function, and everybody says it's a 10 out of 10 movie. Bully Adam Sandler into having erections again. Yeah. Everybody, let's do this. I mean, that's what celebrities deserve for, you know, stealing so much of the limelight while, you know, I was fucking sitting around waiting for no reason. I'm just saying, um, we just, at the same time, we just forced Seth Rogen to get back in action. So then he's the private detective friend that he hires um, to keep tabs on his wife to make sure, you know, she's not, like, gonna fuck someone too quick, you know? But then, like, you know, so he's, like, you know, got, like, cams not of, like, her being naked, but of her, like, checking out her own body so then he can like you know see if he has to work out even harder to be even more motivated to be more sexy than she is you know all the time that's that's sort of the plot going on i guess so it's sort of creepy but then it's in a completely weird context like all his movies yeah, so you know you have seth rogan uh smoking a bong while staring at, at the footage you know yeah being like Damn, those chicks are actually getting in shape. <laughs> I think you're fucked, bro, you know? Yeah, I think you're fucked, man. You know? And he's yeah. got one of those flip bongs. You know, the one yeah. where you flip it, and it's got a center, for like... Well, I don't know quite how they work. They might work a little advanced, but anyways, the point is, the general concept is, yeah. there's a center filter in the middle, so you flip it like an hourglass, and then it filters all of it, so you get a uh, full drag down, because it's the water pressure, like I keep saying, that filters it. So then he can advertise it in the movie. Then he can say, this is $35 in the fucking movie. You're going to fucking do it, Seth Rogen, or I'm going to grab your little fucking balls <laughs> and I'm going to slap the shit out of them. I'm going to fucking squeeze you on the base of your balls. I can be like... <laughs> yeah, right? You understand me, you motherfucker? You motherfucking fuck? You little fucking 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 fuck? Yeah, we're going to add right into the movie that he buys him one right off of Amazon for $35 with free shipping. Yes. Yep. I like the sound of that. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, he's also getting in shape, uh, because he's a pedophile, and he, he wants to touch some, you know, 15-year-old girl gymnast titties, so he's not really a pedophile, he just, you know, wants sex, 
Yes, well, he says he's more of an aficiophile. Yeah, right, but but he's, he's too creepy and old, you know, so, you know, and he's in an on-again, off-again relationship with a woman who's sort of getting in shape, you know. <laughs> it's all about getting in shape, you know, for your sexual desires. Yes, and that mushrooms help, you know, make yeah. you gain physical fitness, you know. Exactly. Like with mushrooms. Yeah. You get to the point where it doesn't hurt as much to, like, bench press and stuff. He already did it for Green Hornet. Yeah, then he acted like a cunt at the beginning of the movie and had an infinite screaming rant at the Asian <laughs> guy or something while acting like a whiny shithead, basically himself. Yeah. And uh, being like, where's my fucking cappuccino? Where's my puppuccino? Oh, my dog needs his puppuccino. Oh, I'm so <laughs> suburbanite. I'm gonna fucking grab him by his fucking ass. Flip him down a flight of stairs to where he rolls all the way to the bottom, and then when he reaches the bottom, I fucking kick him in the head back up the stairs, and when he reaches the top, I fucking grab him by the neck as he flips up upright, like stiff as a board into my face. Then I grab him and body slam him back down the stairs again. Is this like Mario gravity reversing, or uh, you just, I guess it's just like. More like. More like. Uh, Kitty Cannon. More like Ping Pong. Oh, okay. Whatever. On both sides, kicking his ass for being a fat, pork-eating, fucking, sinning motherfucker. You think you're fucking Jewish, you little fuck? You can't eat cloven hooved animals, you fuck! Oh. If you're a part of any tribe, you're a motherfucking piece of shit, and you deserve to have your balls cut off, you little fat porker. Yeah, like, I can walk over here. And look out the window. If and over there in the field, there's the piggies. You see, we were forced to eat pigs, and now we got pigs in our field over there. So, um, you shouldn't accept pork flesh into your DNA. It means that you're gonna suffer a whole lot. That's all I gotta say. <laughs>